Hi guys, this will be a video about how I make a piece of string art and here we go. I have a piece of wood here which I bought in a DIY store. Okay, it's 1.2 meters times um, 60 centimeters and it's 12 millimeters thick. So this is an older piece of wood a friend g gave to me and this one is a little thicker, it's 50 millimeters. I actually prefer 15 millimeters so if you if you can afford it and if your piece can be a bit heavier, I would go for the 15 millimeters. For this design, I want to have two triangles and for the first layer, I decided to use an app on my phone, which is called String Art Designer. And here you can choose your shape and then the number of nails per side and um, yeah, well, you can just Play around until you find something that you think looks good. I've saved a few favorites, some simpler ones and um, more complicated ones. Uh, so this is a really basic one. And if you press DIY, it will show you each step on how to place the strings in which order, which position. And you just follow these steps one by one later when you have uh, when you have the nails and everything it's the last step the stringing but here you can already see how many steps it will be so i probably want to make this one and uh, i take a screenshot of the design i like and i put that screenshot into inshot uh, or any other app that can make a collage and then i arrange it in a way that i can see what it would look like if I put two triangles next to each other. Black background. And yep. Okay, now I can save this. So this is what I'll try to create now. I have drawn both triangles on my piece of wood. And I have the outer outline. So next I'll do the inner outline. Because I need a frame, of course. And because I want to cut out the inside and I'll do a three centimeter frame yesterday I drew the outlines so I have a three centimeter frame um, and in the center of my frame I have a line where I will put the nails and I measured the length of this line and it's 57.2 centimeters so I decided to um, choose a good number of nails and what would fit best and which would be easiest to measure is um, 45 nails each 1.3 centimeters apart and yeah so it's nice and even so I'll have to change my initial design which I think it had 53 nails so I'm gonna now look for something that I like with only 45 nails here we are back on the string art designer app so this was my original design, but I'm going to change it. I'm going to have a design with l less nails. And let's check. Yeah, also 45 nails, but I think I'll keep playing around a little. Maybe I'll find something else that I like. Now it's time to mark the positions of the nails. I start in one corner and now I'll mark 1.3 centimeters over and over again until I get to the end. And yeah, then I should have 45 points per line, uh, per side, where I will put the nails. All of the positions of the nails have been marked. It's time to cut out the frame. I'll be using a, a saw, a hand saw, like, uh, I mean a jigsaw. It's, um, it's a powered saw. It's from my dad. It's, I think it's pretty old, but it's pretty nice. There was a box inside with different um, saw blades. So some are for metal, some are for wood. Um, I just took one out for wood. But I think I... I should maybe change it. Yeah, I have to change it to to this one, I think. This is what I use to um, saw the wood. 
So I have this little work table, which I'll use as a sawhorse. Um, I have these two clamps so I can um, stabilize the, the wood. And then I have um, a mask for against uh, breathing in the dust. And I also have hearing protection. I first have to make a hole uh, on the inside here and I don't have a drill so I'll just be really old-fashioned. I'll, I'll use the screw and a hammer and my hands and just try to make a hole uh, on this side and one on that side and that way I can start um, using the saw from there. I made a hole into each side. I can put the saw blade through now. Yeah, and it's time to cut out the frame. I'm done with cutting out the frame. I'm really happy how it went. It looks great. And the next step will be sandpapering, just to get really smooth edges. I'm excited because now we can finally put in the nails. Um, the frame is sandpapered. Um, today I invested three hours to get it to this state. Yesterday I also invested some time on that string art app. But the design process, well, it takes anywhere between a few hours and a couple of days. These are the nails that my friend gave to me who does a lot of string art. And they're actually really perfect. They have a does it focus? Yeah, the shape is really good and perfect length, really. Um, so here we go. 25 millimeter length, 1.6 um, millimeter diameter. I went to the shop in the Netherlands to get exactly these again, but I didn't have them anymore, which was kind of disappointing. And then I went to a different store and I got similar ones, um, but I don't like these because one sec I'll show you. What I don't like about these nails is that the top can be kind of small and then it doesn't hold back the strings. So if I had a design where I had to go around the same nail 20 times with different strings, then uh, I'd be uh, worried that the strings slide off at the top and there's nothing holding them back. and. Um, these had a really nice, these had a really nice top to them. Look here, see, do you see? Yeah, and we we'll always secure the string better. But anyway, for this design, I'm only going to use each nail, I don't know, once or twice. I, I'm not sure, but uh, it will be fine. Um, so now we can put in the nails. I started in this corner already. Hope you can see this. Not easy to record all of this. The most challenging part is to keep the nails really straight and because my wood is pretty thin I have to be careful not to hammer the nails through through the wood so they come out on the other side so I'm pretty gentle with it. It took me around 10 minutes to put in 45 nails. I guess if I have a cup of tea in between, it will take me like roughly an hour to put everything in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like just over 200 nails. 
I'm done with all of the nails now and we can now um, spray the frame in the color we like. I'm going to take black and I use this, this black paint. I got it in the Netherlands and I'm pretty sure you can use any kind of um, spray paint for wooden toys, um, something like that. And um, yeah, I use matte, black matte. And what else? Yeah, use it outdoors. Don't inhale anything. Um, try to wear a mask. You can read up on how to use it on the back of the product. We're outdoors now. I'm gonna spray the back first and then let it dry and then I'll do the other side as well. We're ready to string our pattern. I have some UV reactive wool. This is red and this is white. And yeah, I'll start with the pattern in white first and then see how it goes. Maybe add a red layer on top. So this is the wool that I use. Um, it's from Cywork, Schwarzlichtgarn. I order it in Germany. It's like two euro fifty per piece. And I think postage is like six euros. So I usually buy a bigger batch. This green, um, red, yellow, white, and I still had leftovers from the last time I ordered it. This is uh, orange and pink. I don't use orange uh, that much, neither do. And pink, yeah, I don't know. My favorites are red, green, white, and yellow so far. So this first pattern I chose is quite complicated and it takes a lot of separate strings. So I have to make a lot of knots and count the nails because I have quite a lot each side, 45. And I just keep recounting because I don't want to make a mistake. So this little bit of stringing took me 30 minutes so far. Um, I'm going to spend quite a while on this one. We are now one and a half hours in. And I have completed 32 steps of the first pattern. And that's around one third because this pattern has all just, I think it has 102 steps. Anyway, I'm doing it twice, like, yeah, <laughs> at the same time. Yay, finally done with stringing the white pattern. And it took me roughly four hours. Of course, I took some breaks. But it did take a long time and I still have all these little strings to cut off and uh, I might secure the knots with a little bit of glue. I have this um, textile glue and when I don't trust a knot I will put a little bit, on glue, little bit of glue on there. Here comes the exciting part. Let's turn off the light. I need some black light. Nice. I like it. Very pretty. It's the next day and I'm thinking about adding another layer. I'm just not sure which color. So either I take green or I take red. I've decided to add a green layer. Green layer is done. This is getting more and more complicated. I hope it looks good still on the black light. It looks a bit more complex than I had anticipated. I just finished a third layer in red to add some contrast and I didn't really think 
that much about it. It was just like freestyle, really. I hope you guys liked this little video and yeah, have fun trying out your own string art. Bye.